On December 11, 2003, the U.S. Navy and the Missile Defense Agency completed their fourth successful intercept of a ballistic missile target from the sea. An Ares test target was launched from the Pacific Missile Range Facility on the island of Kauai. The target flew a nominal trajectory reaching an apogee of over 160 kilometers and a velocity of over 5,000 miles per hour. A forward deployed radar on board the USS Russell detected the target as it broke radar horizon, initiated track, and transmitted the target track to USS Lake Erie via the satellite tactical data Link 16. On board USS Lake Erie, the Aegis weapon system received the Link 16 message and initiated a queued search with the spy radar. The spy radar immediately acquired the target at a range of over 150 nautical miles and transitioned to track. The crew of the USS Lake Erie confirmed a good target track. The crew readied the missile for launch, uploading the target state and GPS ephemeris data. Approximately two minutes after target launch, USS Lake Erie fired the standard missile 3. The missile completed Mark 72 booster burn and separation followed by Mark 104 dual thrust rocket motor burn and separation. An airborne camera tracked the missile throughout most of its flight. After Mark 104 separation, the Mark 136 third stage rocket motor, or TISRAM, ignited, propelling the SM-3 up out of the atmosphere and into space. The velocity, direction, and control were provided by thrust vector control and an attitude control system. After the first pulse of the TISRAM, the missile pitched over, ejected the nose cone exposing the SM-3 kinetic warhead, and pitched back towards the target vehicle. Then the second TISRAM pulse was ignited, propelling the KW towards the intercept basket. After burnout, the SM-3 KW performed IR seeker calibration against a cold space background. The third stage then pointed towards the target and the KW was ejected. Upon separation, the KW initiated the sustain pulse in the monolithic solid divert and attitude control system. The KW acquired the target in its field of view, began tracking and divert maneuvers. As the KW neared the intercept, the target image grew in the field of view. A direct hit! This was the second successful mission to incorporate aim point shift and the first to include lethal aim point shift to a live target warhead. As the final frames indicate, the KW selected and hit the predicted impact point on the warhead section while operating in sustain mode. Numerous ground, sea and air based platforms observed the intercept. The energy from the impact is calculated to be in excess of 125 megajoules the equivalent of a 10-ton truck traveling over 600 miles per hour. This data will assist in validating lethality models and kill assessment techniques. The FM-6 test achieved all of its primary and secondary test objectives. Link 16Q from forward-based radar, operation and characterization of the monolithic SDAX in sustain mode, aim point selection and intercept, and kill assessment. This is the fourth successful intercept of the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Flight Test Program and paves the way for the eventual deployment of an Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense capability urgently needed by our nation, our allies, and our troops stationed overseas. Aegis BMD will play a critical role in the ballistic missile defense system architecture. Starting in 2004, Aegis destroyers will begin to provide forward-based surveillance and tracking in support of the ground-based mid-course defense system. By 2005, full functionality will be implemented in the first set of Aegis cruisers to provide SM-3 engagement capability against short to medium range ballistic missiles. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense, a full, reliable and on target to meet the President's National Security Directive.